And I don't even have no expectations I've been burned, I've been hurt, yeah Hey Diamonds, welcome back to my channel Mufasa coming to you today Yes girl, I cut my hair so it's shorter So now and I put it in layers and it's puffier So today guys, what, um, please don't mind the back That's my backdrop that um, I'm working on um, I'm coming at you guys today I'm going to be doing a makeup collection video. Oh my god, Mufasa hair is real. Um, please excuse the no makeup. I'm, um, yeah, if you want to see how I store my makeup and how I have my stuff, if you want to keep, if you want to see how I store my um, makeup, then keep on watching. Okay, first I'll give you like an overview of how it looks. This is my vanity desk that my hubby got me and it's extra wide in the middle which I love because I'm extra wide and I put I filled this up with rhinestones I got these sh sheets at Michael's um, if I find them I will link them down below okay so this is the whole kind of setup and um, I'll walk you through it one by one first and foremost of course I'm gonna start up with this little shelf that I have of course the blue blood palette has its own little like crystal tray because um hello blue blood uh, blue pimple chick is just like meant to be i also have the uh, morphe and jeffree star brushes there with the straws and the sponges i have not opened it i'm more of a hoarder collector than a user and i'm not going to show you the rest of the shelf because basically it's like just junk with some of my purses and some mess there and um my filming stuff cleaning stuff you know whatever I got this mirror from Walmart and I put the rhinestones on here and I put the rhinestones down here the only thing I don't like about it is that it is rusting I mean and I've tried so many things like I cleaned it but I mean it, it ends up rusting so but what is I can't do anything about that up here I have this beautiful crystal heart and here I have primer um, my primers and then I have this mirror my sister sent made for well got uh, ordered bought for me and this is my q-tip holder I just haven't gotten a chance to fill it up and I should have at least done that before I did this video and I by the way I got these from my bestie shout out to my bestie she got them well I got them off of her because these used to be hers then she went all bougie and her husband got her the impressions vanity so yeah and I got this mirror, this mirror I got on Home Depot and my sister used to work there. She she hooked the sister up with a discount. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not really kidding. I just don't want her to get in trouble. So anyway, <laughs> here are my brushes. I have new brush holders that I have decorated and my sister made. They're like the, um, I'll do a video of them later on because I really wanted to show you guys how I do it. But these are my brushes and I have these two dirty bitty blenders that I'm gonna wash right now um, and then these beauty the beauty blender holder and then these cups my sister-in-law gave them to me for Christmas and she said that she thought of these because um, she wanted me to use them as brush holders so shout out to my sister-in-law Carla and then moving over this way I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast or I don't know guys, I, I feel like I talk a lot, but my videos are kind of long, so I, I don't know what the deal is. So this, guys, is a crystal um, box again. Um, basically, this is where I hold my wipes. Then next year, I have what is like um, makeup remover and cleansers and a brush cleaner. And this is my Cinema Secrets, but I put it in this little bottle for the because I had this one, the Japanese one. But it finished, so I put the Cinema Secrets in here, and it's good for spot cleaning my brushes. Um, my all-time favorite, uh, Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. I have this one, Clinique one, that I haven't really even used, because I honestly really love this one. I'm scared of trying new things, guys. And then I have my mini micellar water. Then I have my big one that I'm almost out of. Um, then right here, I just have my mirror that I blinged out that I got this mirror off at Costco and it turns on guys but I don't have it plugged in right now 
Um, but yeah, I have a speaker back there for whenever I want to hear music or when I want to hear music and like not be super loud. I have my blinged out beat headphones. Um, I have my fan there because sometimes it gets hella hot, which I'm actually planning on blinging out as well. So stay tuned for that. And that is all that I have for the top of my desk. I'm sorry guys, real quick. I have I have my, my samples. I get uh whenever I go to Sephora or you know like whenever I have points I just get a lot of samples or um and um I keep them in here. I have like uh all these samples of the pomades and then the sample of two samples of the Anastasia uh brow gel and then I have these are um primer samples, shampoo samples, yeah, and then I have my only lip liner that, oh no, I have one other one, there. I have, um, what are these, lip stick samples, powder samples, this is where I keep all my samples, and I keep it up here, because I try to use them, so they won't go, go to waste, and then here I have, like, face masks, moisturizer, some lip masks, you know, just like, like, facial stuff okay so now I'm done with the top I'm gonna go down to the first shore on my left which houses my foundation and concealer guys I don't collect a lot of foundation and concealer so both of them are, are here together um, my favorite one of my favorite foundations are the makeup forever one of course I have the you know the LA girl pro I have this uh, one for when my stash comes in because girl, I don't know what is wrong with me, but I have a full-on stash sometimes. Oh, well, yeah. And then I got this cover effects one. This one I use for um, carving my eyebrows. My favorite concealer. And then I have my fa my LA girl. This is the one I use for bronzing, but you know, whatever. My naked concealer. You know, and then I have here a closed box of the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, um, a small compact mirror that my sister gave to me years ago. Trust me, guys, this used to be clear. It's so old it turned yellow. But I, I, am a hoarder. Everything that anybody gives me, I keep. I am a keeper, dude. If you give me something, I will cherish it forever. <coughs> so, anyways, it goes my brow powder from Anastasia in the shade taupe. Uh, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, gel eyeliner from Maybelline, and it's the black is black. My uh, dip brow pomade in medium brown, and then I have um, the, the NYC liquid liner. My favorite liquid liner, which is the NYX matte one. My favorite mascara, and some mascaras that I'm currently using. Um, guys, I really, really don't like this one. Skinny mascara sucks. I don't like it. Um, the Better Than Sex mascara, I have it, but I really, really prefer my L'Oreal one, which is very similar, but at least the L'Oreal one doesn't have fallout like this one does, and it's, like, hella expensive if you keep on buying them every, every month because it dries out fast. Uh, a sample of MAC, my only nude eyeliner for my waterline. And of course, I have my bougie ass fan to blow, you know, you always need a fan in your hand. Um, and then here in this container, I have um, two of my MAC paint pots. I have uh, Painterly and Soft Ochre. My, um, uh, what you call it? Setting sprays. Okay. I have the Milani one, and guys, I'm sorry for my heart, hairy arm keeping like getting in the way. I have the Mac one. This one's really good, like coconut. I think this is a coconut one, or and then the primer water. Then sometimes when I use this one, I, I'll put it in the refrigerator because I mean, if uh, when like you spray it, it's super cool. It feels really, really good. And then of course my Morphe uh, continuous setting mist, which is. My favorite, I think, at the moment. So, yeah, that's the first drawer, guys. My second drawer is powders and contour kits and these highlight pa uh, palettes. Um, so, I have these two. One of them was given by my bestie. One of them was given to me 
by my cousin Maylee. Shout out to my cousin Maylee. I love you so much. Um, but they're both the same thing. They're both the Kat Von D um, shade and light contour palette. So I have that. I have the oh so famous airspun powder, um, which smells like old lady, but I really love. I have this, guys, since eighth grade, guys. My cousin April gave it to me. Shout out to my cousin April, which is my cousin Maylee's sister. Dude, I got I had this since eighth grade, which is um let me see let me try doing the math guys i graduated high school 10 years ago and this one i got it in eighth grade so it was like 12 years ago give or take 12 years ago i've had this little thing this is like the only thing that i kept i actually have a lip gloss that i've had since seventh grade that i ke i keep because they were like they were what made me start i don't even know if clinique still has these but they're so cute guys whatever the, here's the thing about me if it's small and cute or it's so special significant i'm keeping it i don't care what anybody says this is one of my favorite loose powders laura mercier uh one of also my favorite these like are my favorite the only, the only one i really don't reach for that much is the mark jacobs because i think it gives me like a white cast and this is my everyday um, powder that I love to use as well. <clears throat> so I have here the Jaclyn Hill Highlight Palette that I, I honestly, whenever it's like, um, uh, whenever it's like limited edition, I tend not to use it because uh, I never want to finish it. Like the Nicole Guerrero is practically new. I've used it once or twice, but I don't want to touch it because, I mean, they don't even sell it anymore. So I have that one, and I have the Jaclyn Hill, and I got this one my bestie got me, and the cream contour palette, which as you can see, I really don't reach for that much, um, because I suck at cream contouring. So yeah, um, this that's it. That's all I have for this. Oh, and I, this divider, I got it at the dollar store, at Dollar Tree. So the next drawer I have is my blushes my, my my highlights on this side my and that one and then these are my blushes these right here are my blushes and only this is my contour powder and this one is my Marc Jacobs one which I bought it because of the white packaging because it, it's huge um, I honestly don't even reach for it but um, that's how I am guys I have a I have a buying problem and I get in trouble about it all the time, but you know, I don't give a damn sometimes. This is my favorite bronzer at the moment. And then this is my Bisu eyeshadow palette. And that, that right there is a Hulu bronzer. Hulu, 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 I don't know, guys. Um, I have highlights in the back that I really don't reach for that much because it's kind of chunky, but I really love it at the same time. I don't know, it's a love-hate relationship, which is the Urban Decay one. Then I have the Jouer Skinny Dip. This one is the uh, Amrezy, which since it's limited edition, guys, I don't use it. I'm too scared to use it. I have um, the Wet n Wild. I have the Master Chrome. Um, these are are made by uh, my friend Maggie. She is a local. She I don't think she sells this anymore, but um, this was her thing it was it's these are called glow digger by maggie guys these highlights are so cute and then this one this one is her i know this one she put cocaine because it's like a ref, gold reflected highlight guys this one is hella pretty this is one of my favorites here i have my busted um champagne pop when it was still in collaboration with jacqueline hill um my, my backup champagne pop and then my only four Jeffrey highlights for now because I, guys, I'm, I need to make room or I don't know if I should put it like there. But for my new Jawbreaker palette um, coming soon. And um, yeah, and then my girl, good old Fenty girl, she's so pretty. She needs her own little compartment. My blushes, my favorite blushes. These smell hella good, guys. You should really get these. I'm talking really fast, I'm sorry. My favorite Wet n Wild eyeshadow, um, blushes. 
Uh, I got this from my friends from the UK. Also this one. That's it for that. And then the next one is not really exciting because it's just like hair stuff, my brush, um, clips, bobby pins, um, my shears. For, these are what I used to... My shears that I use for cutting hair. I have four, but I, the third, the fourth one is in my mom's house. So. And then the bottom one is just like stuff when I edit videos. Because sometimes I edit on this desk and my old phones that I used to have. So we're done with that side. We're going to roll over to this side. They see me rolling. They hate it. Trolling. I'm just kidding, guys. Okay. So we're going to go to this for sure. And these are my single eyeshadows, um, my not so single eyeshadows. I, I, I really loved using these, but sometimes when they have sentimental value to me, I will keep them, um, even if they're beyond the expired date. So don't come for me because I don't give a damn. Um, there's a gosh, this uh, eyeshadows that I got some girl from the UK. One of my favorite. Um, eyeshadows is this one is super shiny and shimmery and this one from Colourpop that my sister bought for me which shout out to my sister Z Star and this is one of my, my only only uh, Urban Decay eyeshadow that I have in Cosmic which is, I bought it because once I swatched it in Sephora I fell in love so these are my Bisu shadows guys Bisu is a Mexican makeup brand. If you haven't tried it, you're missing out. The colors are hella pigmented and they're so inexpensive. Um, yeah, and they're super, super pretty. So, and then here I have my Wet n Wild. These guys are discontinued. And then I have this glitter palette that my sister Jade, my oldest sister, made for me. I have um, these NYX glitter. Uh, tower that my bestie got me for Christmas and it came with the next glue the little sample set it was so cute I really really love this one um, I have some pigment these are some um, loose pigments from this one is from Barry Barium that I also got from my friend Holly from the UK which you'll see if you see my older videos I did I showed like the swap videos and we actually swapped them out this one is from Bisu, the Mexican um, Mexican brand makeup that I'm telling you. This is my favorite glue, my glitter glue, but guys, it's discontinued. I cannot find it for the life of me anywhere, um, but this was hard candy. And guys, this these are lifesavers. I bought these like a long time ago when this first came out, and Vera, um, was it Vera Mona, Vera Wayne? Oh yeah, Vera Mona. She's a, uh, I saw this with her first years ago, and I bought this for 20 bucks, which is right now hella dirty. I really haven't seen it. Um, but these are color swatches. Guys, you need, really need these in your collection because they will save you a lot of time. Okay, guys, so the next drawer I have is eyelash, eyelashes and tools and body glitter. I have my lipstick. My, whoa. Well, I have an my lipsticks if you guys can see I the colors are really I don't really go with colorfulish I really either use red pink nude um, which is what I really have guys let me show you if I can find it this is the lip gloss I was talking about earlier again you guys will see this is Mary Kate and Ashley this used to be really pretty pink and glittery guys this thing is so old I had this for more than 12 years I, actually, I think I got this in 6th grade, so it's like been more than uh, four, 13, 14 years. Mary Kane and Ashley don't even have a makeup brand anymore, but I keep it for sentimental values. Oh my god, guys. My best friend went in 6th grade, got this to gave this to me. So, um, I don't care what you guys say, if you find it gross or whatever. I mean, to me, it has a lot of sentiment, and I'm going to keep it like as for, as for as long as I can. This drawer is hair accessories, nothing fancy. Or and then this last drawer I have is backups of wipes, the little thingies, the cherry setting sprays, my favorite mascara, 
uh, setting sprays, uh, the number 12 brushes, the uh, Anastasia, you know, just backup stuff that I have that I use most often. It's, okay, this is gonna, this is my eyeshadow palette collection. We'll start on this wall. Uh, this is where I keep some of my palettes. So focusing is it? Okay, so up there I have my three Jeff three of my Jeffree Star palettes. Uh, my naked I try to collect. Guys, more than anything, I'm a collector. Um, I st I drew the line on the cherry for the naked. They keep on coming up with palettes and they kind of all look similar. So I'm not even planning on getting the reloaded one. But I, low key, I kind of want to get it just to complete my collection. Uh, same thing with the Lorac Pro. Um, I just drew the line for the three. Um, the Too Faced. Uh, the one I'm really missing is um, the white chocolate one. So I have that. Those are my palettes. And then these are the rest of my palettes. I'm just showing you guys real quick. My liquid lipstick minis that I have here. The Vault Jacqueline Hill. These are all sleek palettes that I got from Mia Fion and um, Holly. These are the three. The Tarte palette. The In the Bloom. The regular. The Fire one. My Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette. Anastasia palette that I really love. Um, my Urban Decay Electric palette. The Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette, all my Juvia's Place Palettes, um, my Violet Voss Palette, oh, the Tardis Pro Violet Voss by Laura Lee, Violet Voss, Violet Voss Holy Grail, which I really, really love this one. Um, these two Morphe ones, the which I don't remember what they're called, my uh, Blood Sugar Palette, my Alien Palette, my Jaclyn Hill. Um, this one that is six color contour palette that I got I made this palette myself like the actual Z palette I made it myself and I put just random eyeshadows in here and my James Charles palette and <laughs> That's about it. So guys, it's the end of my video for my collections I hope you guys like this video if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up And if you're not already subscribed to my channel turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video um, and if you have any questions or any like a request that you guys want to see just make sure to leave it in the comment section below and don't forget guys you're a diamond and no one can break you Mufasa out oh my god that's so dorky